Well, hello there, my fellow astronauts. Good times. So Scott here, bringing you a new video today, and that is the Kerbal Space Program, where we build and construct rockets to send us into the heavens. So let's get this video underway. <laughs> All right, welcome back, and I've had this game for quite some time, but I'm finally getting around to playing it, and let's see here. I just played a little bit of way back in April, so let's see. It looks like we can only still do sandbox. It looks like we could pick a flag. Ooh, this is new. Oh, I wonder what this represents. Can we put these flags on the sides of our rockets? Let's do this retro one. That looks pretty cool. All right, there we go, and let's start this up. Overwrite our old save from way back in April, and here we go. So now we're in Cape Kerbal. And let's see here. So we got our space plane hangar, which is advanced aeronautics and things. We'll stay away from there for now. We're quite new at this. And then we got the VAB, the Vehicle Assembly Building. That's where we construct our rockets. Got the launch pad over here and a tracking station for, you know, keeping track of your ongoing missions in space. All right. So let's head over to the VAB and load that up. And all right, so I'm gonna try to give you guys a little bit of knowledge of things kind of I know, reading the wiki a little bit, and hopefully you guys can share some of your knowledge too if you've already played this. All right, so let's start up here in this panel of our pod panel where we find some of the things that we need to start the basics of a rocket. So you'll see like crew modules here, and there's another crew command pod. So this is a one seater, and I believe that was at like a three. So let's start with this basic one here. There we go. I'm going to grab that, zoom up just a little bit. All right, so first thing we need to add to the top of this thing is a parachute. we got to find some way to get home. There we go. All right. So next we need to find... Ooh, these are new. Ooh, these wheels are pretty cool. Oh, whoa. That thing is huge. What on earth? Yeah, that that's practical. Look at that. Just in case we need to make an emergency land somewhere. <laughs> that's crazy. I, that's new. I've never seen that before. Okay, let's see. Um, there it is. So they changed the page of the decoupler. All right, so we're going to put that on there. There we go. So what that is going to act as is we'll use these to decouple different stages of our rocket from each other once we finished with that stage. And you see these, these are our stages here. We'll get to that at the end of the video. There we go. All right, so let's see. How are we going to build this thing? First thing we need to do is add a advanced SAS module and that will act as some stability once we're in the atmosphere or out of the atmosphere to help us with autopilot and things. I believe it also helps in the ascent too. I believe it does. All right. So next we need to build is another stage that will use this stage to maneuver in orbit. So we're just going to take a small tank here, a liquid fuel tank. And then this small, let's take this LV909, that right there. There we go. Let's see. I really want to get into orbit this time. Usually I just build some crazy contraption things to just blow up. But I'm going to actually try to play it serious and to get in orbit with a little bit of fun. All right, let's see. Got that on there. Let's get another decoupler. So get that on there. There we go. Perfect, perfect. And let's check our staging just to parachute. All right, good. Everything looks good. Everything looks great. All right, so let's see here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> I really want to do. I really. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get crazy. Things are. Things are gonna get crazy here, guys. Things are getting crazy. I'm gonna try something. Let's see. Pull that up just a little bit. So this is gonna allow us to attach a larger tank. Let's put something huge on there. Let's let's, let's go nuts here. Let's put one of the jumbo tanks on it. I love this tank. It reminds me of the space shuttle, which I miss so much. It makes me sad to think about. And we're going to put that on there. This is incredible. This is way overkill, guys. Oh, wait. Ooh, this looks like a new engine. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, that's a new engine. I've never seen that one before. It must be, it must be new since last April I played. All right, there we go. Look at this thing. This is incredible overkill, but doesn't it look cool? I think it looks cool. But we're going to actually need some solid fuel boosters on the sides, I think, to be able to get this into orbit. So now we need to put more than one of these on the side. So these are decouplers. These will allow us to put some external engines on the sides or boosters, and then we'll be able to jettison those off to continue our flight once they're used up. 
but we want more than one. So we'll go down here to the symmetry tool and we'll add three of them and that will place them symmetrically on the sides of our craft. There we go. And we'll take these large solid fuel boosters and we'll just nestle them on there like that. And there we go. I think that looks pretty cool. It looks like the space shuttle, except with an extra think of a bob there and a crew capsule instead of the actual shuttle. All right. Ooh, this, this, is pretty, this is a pretty cool looking rocket. All right, aerodynamics we need. Let's put those bad boys on there. And let's see, what else, what else? Let's see, let's add a little bit of stability. You know, you want to make sure you're not rocking and rolling around. There we go. Um, put one up there. Oh, 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 we grab that one more time. Click that, there we go, all right. Let's see, what other kind of bills and whistles can we put on this bad boy? What's this? Yeah, he has external command seat. Wow, this is new. I mean, you know what I'm gonna call this? I'm gonna put this on the side. Well, I don't want three of them. There we go. I'm gonna put one of those on there, and that's the seat that if anybody wants to pay to go on to keep funding our space program, it'll be the uh, tourist seat. There we go. That is $100 to sit in the chair for a launch. Safety is not guaranteed. All right, let's see. What else can we stick on the side of this thing? Oh, we gotta have a battery. I mean, we gotta somehow charge our iPad. Um, what else do we need? <laughs> let's see, let's see. Um, I, like, I just like adding th random things to the sides of this thing. I know it's not efficient by any means, but it's fun to add little gizmos to the sides of your craft. What other little things can we add to this before we commence on our launch? Ooh, lights? Oh, I wanna add some lights. Yeah, let's add some lights. Let's see. I forgot the key to, to flip these. There we go, all right. I think that's pro that's good, guys. Let's take a look at our staging now. So what we, oh, no, well, we forgot one thing. We need pad stability. So I'm just gonna jump over here. If I can remember where that is, there they are. And we're just gonna stick those on the sides, help our craft stay stable on the V launch pad. And what we're gonna do is now we're gonna go through our staging. And if I can get that down to six, there we go. And let's see, our engines are there. So we need to bring both our engines down to our first ignition. So if I could switch that to there, perfect. Genesis those and a couple from that. A couple from that, okay, there we go. So let's head to the launch pad. No, I forgot to name them the Crafted Jelly One. No. Okay, guys, I forgot to name the craft, but this is the jelly one named after the notable jelly, my cat. And so that's, so we're going to call this the jelly one, even though I forgot to name it the jelly one. Darn it. All right. So let's fire this bad boy up. So ignition sequence engage. We are at full throttle activating computer systems. This is the jelly one to tower. We are clear for takeoff. This is the tower, your green board. Godspeed. All right, we have clearance from the tower and we are ready for takeoff. Ignition, lift off. And we have a clean lift off and we have cleared the pad and we're underway. So let's ease back off on our thruster. There we go, we don't wanna to waste too much fuel. There we go, all right, so we have our ascent is underway. Jebediah is looking excited aboard the Jelly One. So we are making good speed here. All right, so once we get up there a little bit farther, to about about 10,000 or so. We're gonna start to make a roll maneuver, get up on our side, and we'll be just moving into our ascent to orbit. Right, our solid fuel boosters are about to end here. So we're gonna need to kick up our speed a little bit on our fuel. Come on, come on, we want this. There we go, genesis those. All right, and all right, here we go, guys. This is the scary part. We're gonna make a roll maneuver here. I'm gonna ease off just a little bit on that, and I'm gonna start the maneuver. I don't know exactly how far to move this, but I'm just gonna move it down a little bit. Uh-oh, we're losing control. Losing control. Oh, hold it, hold it. Come on, come on. There you go. Come on, Jelly One. Be, make me proud, Jelly. All right, let's just get a little bit more on an angle. I think that's probably good. All right, let's activate this mode. Kind of see where Apolapsis is. Okay, so we need to gain more altitude at this point. So we just need to kind of hold this like this 
And, hmm, do we need to add a little bit more throttle? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on that and save as much fuel because I really want to get into orbit here. Come on. Juice it up just a little bit. Come on. All right, there we go. All right, let's just make a small course correction here. Make sure that's even. Perfect. Let's check the map again. All right, so we need to gain a little bit more altitude before we make any more maneuvers. So I'm going to gas her up a little bit more. Look at Jebediah down there. He is having so much fun. Look at him. He's like, yeah, woo. Should hit the EVA button. I don't know if we have a passenger on our tourist uh, seat. I don't know if we do, but we need to activate the lights. Yeah, look at the lights. Perfect. Okay, let's take a look at our resource panel. And we're, all right, so main tank is about to deplete. So let's check our apoplepsis again. Oh, we're good, we're good. All right, I'm gonna cut engines. Cutting engines. We have a little bit of fuel left, so I'm gonna save that. So, hmm. So I've never actually made it into orbit. I'm planning on it. I want to. This is, this is the mission we're gonna finally reach it. So let's see here. Can I please name this vessel the Jelly One? Is there any way to name this? No. All right. Okay, so somehow we need to get up to here. Mm -hmm. Let's just speed this up just a little bit. I want to get a little bit closer to the apoplepsis point, which is our highest point in our trajectory. And then from here, we need to boost it up just a All right, so we're actually in orbit. So we've cleared the atmosphere of Kerbin. So let's see. Let's get up a little bit closer here to our apoplepsis point. Come on, just a little closer. I'm feeling the epilapses on the horizon. All right, just a little closer, and let's, all right, cut that. Let's jump back into this mode real quick, and let's see here. Actually, I think once we're in this mode, we're probably good. Let's bring up our nav ball, and all right, let's juice this bad boy up a little bit. All right, so this is our orb. This is our trajectory of our spacecraft. Okay, we're out of fuel. I heard it just deplete. Actually, no, we have a little bit left, I think. No, we're out. Okay, so let's jettison that. Perfect. Oh, come on, we gotta somehow get in orbit here. So let's get a little bit closer to our apoplepsis point. Let's kill our engine. Let's bring it there a little closer. All right. And engage our thruster. There we go. Why are we not engaging? Come on, come on. Well, maybe I'll manually have to engage this engine. There we go. All right. So let's jump back over here, see how we're doing. So this engine is a little bit of a wiki, but it should be an efficient means to get us up there. All right, so we're increasing our altitude slightly. So we need this band to reach all the way across Kerbin, and there should be an apoplepsis point and a periapsis, I believe. So that would be on the opposite side. Come on, come on. So we need this thing to reach all the way around the, the planet above 75 or so in altitude. Cut engines again. Come on. There's our little craft. Look at it. It's such a cool craft. Let's activate our solar panel for fun. Come on. There it goes. Woo. Look at that. That's awesome. Nice. And then we got our crew seat there for our tourists, which apparently didn't want to join us, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to make a slight maneuver here. Let's see, I'm going to take that off. There we go. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Too much of a correction. Hold that there. Okay. We're engaging our thruster one more time. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get a little closer, come on. You can see it, you can see it, we, we're really getting really close to our point. Alright, so we, we still have a good amount of fuel. Oh, we got it, got it, we got a periapsis. Let's get that point above... There we go, kill the engines, and we did it. We're in a stable orbit above Kerbin. We did it, there we go, look at that, we're a little high. Not 100% not even, which I guess we could try to fix. We could try to fix that a little bit. 
even that out just a little bit, I guess. Let's just kill it there. All right, that's probably good. That's good. All right, we're in orbit. Let's speed it up and watch our craft spin around Kubin as we successfully have made orbit. Oh, that is really cool. That is really cool. So guys, now the next step is to bring this puppy home. So let's kill our engines again. I actually want to land on the light side of Kerbin. All right. So now we're going to make a maneuver. Actually, you know, we don't have to. We can actually just turn this thing to our... Let's just do a retrograde burn here. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, I knew watching NASA the television would pay off someday. So there we go. We're going to make a retrograde burn. We're just going to land anywhere. So what we're doing now is we're burning in the opposite direction that we were going. As you can see, our orbital plane is starting to decrease, as you can see there. And we should, let's check our, yeah, we have plenty of fuel. So we're burning backwards at the moment. Orbit is decreasing. I want to land somewhere over here. So we bring that down a little bit. Come on, come on, here we go. Oh my god, I wish this was real. It would be so much fun. Okay, so we're bringing that up there. We're going to, so we want to land about there. There we go. Wait, was that stupidity? Oh, that's funny. Alright, so let's see here. I want to land in the, this general direction, right about there. Check this for a second. Alright, so we're still good on altitude. Burning good. Fuel is decent. We're just about out of fuel. Just about there. That's where we want to go. Check our fuel one more time. Just about out of fuel here. And cut our engines. Okay. So we are slowly falling to back to curb in here. Let's just speed the process up just a little bit. Woo, look at us go. Nice. All right. So now we are into the atmosphere. We're going to genesis that. Keep our lights on. There we go. We're falling back to Kerbin on our mission. There we go. Re-entry is... Oops, let's slow that down just a little bit. There we go. When do we activate the parachute again? Hmm. I don't know when to activate the parachute, to be honest. Hmm. I wonder where we should. Hmm. I'm not sure when to activate it, actually. Let's activate it at, at about a thousand. Let's just do it now. I think we're getting really close to the ground. There we go. There we go. A successful landing has occurred. Amazing. The first one, the Jelly 1 was successful. Now we just make some variants of it, maybe a little more fuel efficient or add some more fun to it, maybe do some other missions. And there we go. Successful landing and the Jelly 1 mission has been a success. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and we'll see you later. We'll probably make a small window within this kind of red um, wall we're building along here. And we're using our red hardened clay, which is my current favorite block, by the way. I absolutely love the hardened clay. It has really nice colors. It kind of a muted, uh, kind of a little bit more earth tones to the colors.